yo bitch coming over Told that bitch to kick rocks, she yeah. like the ball Hey, who your hits okay? Yeah. When I be leaving, she tell me to stay Oh, oh who your Shake that booty, I know it's little, but you need Say so you need oh. What's up? It's Ali ah, Hardesty. <laughs> One, two, three. Hey, hey alligators. alligators! What's, what's up? up? It's Ali Hardesty. And Rara Knaps. We are here today doing another drive with me. Mm -hmm. You know, this is becoming a series. It's a series. It's already been Only a series. Only fangirl but series. Only yes. fangirl series. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we are going to drive around. We're going to dance. We're going to sing. We're just going to play some jams. Twerk. Get our groove on. Talk to you guys. Yeah. Just hang out, you know? Have Get a good time. Get some updates. Yeah, it's going to be a good video. I can already tell. <laughs> I haven't seen your ass in like a month. We collabed <laughs> like a month ago if you guys saw that. And we know that you guys wanted some more. I'm nervous. <laughs> Everyone like, better go subscribe to her on her oh YouTube God. and her OnlyFans. We both have OnlyFans. Ah! We will have some behind the scenes footage on those below. And we are also filming our pole dancing collab after this that we promised you guys OnlyFans. from our last video. Yes. I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get respect up. Yeah. The people fucking need it, dude. <laughs> OFs get lit. We low key are just like OnlyFans girls now, so that's why we post like yes. once a month. On YouTube. Yeah, no, that's my <laughs> full Lowest thing. Of key. For sure. I'm definitely like a once a month kind of poster on YouTube. Dude, my last thumbnail with Olivia got removed. I don't even know how many times. Yeah. I made a whole video like talking about it, like ranting. I've just been having some issues with them, you know? It's like this will probably happen I've to this thumbnail too. I've been having issues with you too. I don't think anyone has that much fun on YouTube anymore, if I'm being honest, because of all the fucking regulations that each video has to go through. And now it's like every time you upload a video, they do like a questionnaire. Have you seen it? Oh my it? God, For, yeah. For like monetization. Do you and, cuss? And, like, yes. Is and, there like, violence? Like, even if I do like answer everything correctly, it still gets my video demonetized times where I'm like it's not even fun anymore from like when I first started and I was just like okay YouTube's so dope yeah I used to put so much pressure on myself to post Same. like twice a week three yeah. times a week or at least once a week and now yeah. it's just like when I feel inspired like it's I want only to it's only something. yeah it's only when I'm like feeling like in the mood to film and inspired like today we were truly just vibing and we were like you know what we should just like go film, film a drive, a with, drive me. with me yeah we were like at the house and we we're like we could be doing this like driving and like listening to music and stuff yeah because we like, wanted to go get Starbucks yeah we're gonna pull over and do some twerking I'm gonna play the songs that I used to dance to at the strip club. Oh yeah, if you guys yes. don't know, she used to be a dancer. I feel like people in our video from the collab we did on your channel, they were like curious because I think you oh, cut out the okay. part where you said that you weren't going back to the strip club. Tea. Sorry. I yeah. don't know if you're exposed to that yet, Yeah, but... yeah, we are done. I was a dancer for five months. A good five months for Five, six months. <laughs> OnlyFans, dude. OnlyFans. OnlyFans. Thank you. Literally <laughs> retired to go over to OnlyFans. Yes, 100%. Like, being in the strip club aged me aged my soul. Your sleep schedule going to bed at 8 a.m., waking up at 3 p.m., drinking and... It's, it's like a rave every night. Yeah, you literally. Like a rave club, I worked too. at like a rave club in Vegas, where it's like they only play EDM music and all the guys are on like Molly and stuff. It's like it gets exhausting, it gets tiring. Like It's fun for a while, and then I was just like over it. Yeah, plus the pandemic, so you're already kind of like oh my forced God. out of there. Yeah. I feel like so many dancers now are starting OnlyFans. If you guys are not signed up, use my referral link linked below. I, I will help I, you out. I'm under her referral link. She is it's yeah. lit like seriously every single person that I've signed up I mean I don't know no about random people it, yeah. but yeah like anyone I know personally no who signed up it. has just like went off and killed it made money you know mm -hmm. like had so much fun honestly I would have been like way more depressed during this pandemic if I didn't have that <gasps> as an outlet I'm so happy to have only because <laughs> you really can't do much with YouTube because it's like you can't go out you can't vlog festivals mm -hmm. you can't travel vlog it's yeah. like what do you post you know Literally so it's post. just been like a really good outlet I'm just so thankful for everybody on there so Same. seriously shout out to you guys it means so much and the series just does really well so I know you guys like them and I'm just yeah. gonna keep doing them I'm probably gonna try to do them like every couple months mm -hmm. and I have a lot of friends who do OnlyFans and who can dance like yeah. her so you know <laughs> I had to put them on my channel I had yes. to like continue the series it's just like what I have the most fun filming at this point you know and if you guys want to see more go to OnlyFans yeah we, we do like all the crazy stuff on there it is such an insane like dope platform because every other platform is so censored where I'm like oh my I god just I just let loose on there <laughs> yeah same like I have so much fun life-changing yeah for sure for real especially when like all your YouTube friends do it I know I'm, I'm excited we're having a collab like a hotel night with Olivia yes we are we're getting a hotel room it'll be the three of us just having like a full collab night for all fans I don't even I can't even explain it I'm like patreon wasn't even like that yeah like, that's where I, I came tried from. patreon but I'm like even the website seems a little older I don't know only fans just is like on their shit and like the website you can like navigate so much easier yeah. I wish there was an app I wish there was an app for only fans it's my oh, only they thing. can't because it's NSFW so they that's can't. a real thing mm -hmm. 
Oh. But you can like save it from Safari and make it into like an app. You know what I mean? I'll show you how to do that. What? I feel like I should do a part two to like how to grow an OnlyFans. Because people what? ask me, I know your DMs are probably like this too. I get so many people being like, can you give me advice? Like, how do I get started? And I yeah. have so much advice I could give that like, I just don't want to make it repetitive to the last video I did. But I know I need to probably make a follow up soon. It's just so much and they're changing it all the time and like updating and stuff. So we're driving around. I don't even know what city we're in right now. Oh, do you have an aux cord? Should we play some music? Oh my God, yes. Everything for you. Yes. I like Joan. Oh, I think I have heard this. Yeah. I like TikTok. It's on my OnlyFans. Oh my god, that's my favorite. Dude, I was just gonna say, I love Jeezy. He's like the ultimate fuckboy. Oh, like, for sure he is. I love that video of him where he's like flirting with the people who are interviewing him. No. He'll be like, so tell us about like, do you have a girlfriend? Like, what's your relationship like? And he'll just like deflect and like start hitting on them. And oh it's like a whole compilation gosh. on YouTube. I'm I could I pull anything Last summer I had I'm tickets to a Tiger concert. Me too. Can they just come back over? I want I want to go to a goddamn festival. Yeah, we have to go to something together. We have to. It'll be fun. I would go to Rolling Loud again for together. you. Yes, Rolling I Loud is shit. I low-key had like a traumatic experience at Rolling Loud. I made a video about Rolling it on Loud my Miami. friend's channel. Yeah, like a long time ago. Like we talked about the festival itself being like really crazy, but I had a falling out with a friend at Rolling Loud, yeah. like a really bad situation. I got kind of like left there and stuff. Oh shit. Oh, okay. So basically I haven't gone back since. Like I just go to EDM festivals now, but I do really love rap. That's like rap my festivals day one. are my favorite. Like I would go back with you because oh, I know that yes. you're about that life. Oh my god, like over like do you know like outside lands is yeah, yeah, like yeah, a yeah. Lollapalooza. Rap festivals are my fucking shit. Like I love them. The crowds, everyone is so fun. I feel like that's how like raves are, because I used to go to a bunch of raves when I was like younger. Yeah. And like the vibes there are so much better than like an outside lands, I feel like. I Isn't know. outside lands like EDM? No, it's like indie kids. Like electric forest vibes. No, no, no. It's like um <laughs> Kind of like a Coachella. Yeah, I'm good. I don't want to be a bestie. She like what me like a jet ski. Be the two and I'm going to do it if you let me. Yeah. Are we both going to be a Yeah. Yes, you can't are. be my wifey. Lead up. Got me thinking, baby. Tell me if you're with it because I'm with it, baby. I had to hear from you and I'm in it, baby. Break it down, baby. Everything you do is amazing. Yeah. 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 Listening to music in a car like super loud puts me in such a good mood. Like it's I'll, the best. It's like therapy. I literally will go on like two hour drives just like blasting music if I'm like feeling stressed out. I need to get the layout of the car. You know what I mean? I need to get warmed up. Yeah, we got my car. Yeah, we gotta find the angles. Yes. Like, yeah, we got her car because it was a lot bigger. Yeah. Because my car, like I just have to be like bending over in weird yeah, spots. Yeah. Yeah. Like in the last one, everyone was saying that like Olivia just like fit perfect and I was like bent over. I'm like, yes. well yeah, because she's like four eleven. <laughs> Like, or five foot or whatever. We're over here, like, what are you, like, five seven? I'm almost five nine. Okay, I think I'm, like, five seven. But this is, like, great for my long ass leggings. Yeah, I wear, like, shorts. I never do that in drive with me. Oh, you never wear shorts? Usually okay. it's, like, leggings or, like, a dress. A dress like yes. that, yeah. What gave me the idea to do, like, a twerking drive with me? Like, when you did, like, your very first one. It was, like, my ex best friend. She just started twerking, like, in the car. Oh, shut it up. It was, like, Oh, shut up. I've never probably bleeped some of this out, but yeah, she just started twerking as like a joke. And oh I titled gosh. that and it went viral. And then like all my friends just started doing Stop. it. And then I started doing it. I was gonna say, like, I've never seen anyone else do like twerking drive with me before. You're like the only one, and they're like, gen they're genius. Thank you. They're, they're so idea. fun. And, and like, lost my weed on her. Stop. Oh my god, do you want me to like pull over and we can look? One eternity later. Oh, oh my god. god. I'm done. done. We went to get weed for like my weed pen I just bought. <laughs> so we drove all the way out here and then I just thought I lost it. I was oh like, my no. god, brand new too. I didn't even know you smoked weed. That's so funny. I did like a high get ready with me with my friend and YouTube oh deleted it. I got it back up and now it's like age restricted. I've had like three videos in the past like week at age restricted. Really? Where I'm like, I uploaded these like two years ago. How are they just now getting age restricted? <laughs> She tell me to stay. Oh oh, move your hips, okay. When I be leaving, she tell me to stay. Move your hips, okay. When I be leaving, she tell me to stay. Move your hips, okay. When I be leaving, she tell me to stay. Hold on, my jeans like I'm guns. Hold on, my jeans like I'm guns. Hey, 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 hey,
Hey, yeah, fuck with me and get some money and get some money. Hey, fuck with me and get some money and get some money. Yeah, fuck with me and get some money. Oh, y'all bitch coming over. Told that bitch to kick rocks. She got like this ball. Hey, let me pop it, homie, pop it. I know! Or brand. <laughs> I'm done, literally my fucking oh my brand. I love it! I'll just keep switching the song. Yes! Ah, dude, this is gonna be lit! The American dream. Hey, yo, nephew. Why don't you come up off them keys and sing a little something for the ladies? You wanna jump up? Let them know how we feeling right now. Baby, come up, come around. Run up on me like quick, Where I'm like, I think I would do it again, like once a month, just for like the fun of Dude, it. Dude, I would do it with you once a month yeah, for the fun of like, it. Yeah, just for the fun of it, because I'm like, it is so fun. I still like miss the experience. Dude, I of did it, it like twice, and I did it yeah. like what four or five years ago. I still miss Maybe, it. Like out of breath. I think because I was just doing it every weekend, flying to Vegas, where you just get like burnt out. Then I look back and I'm like. Those were you were making cra- memories. Those yeah. were some crazy nights. Like, you guys have seen Hustlers. It's literally just like it. Like, guys would get so effed up. I would carry guys, like, with their arm around my shoulder to the ATM. Because they'd be so effed up that they want to be able to, like, put in, like, their pin codes mm-hmm. and stuff. So I'd have them, like, tell me their pin codes. And I'd have to, like, tell them, be like, <laughs> babe, it's one, two, three, four. And I'd be like, come on, like, don't fuck it yeah. up. Like, get that fucking pin code right. And they'd be like, how much should I take out? I'd be like, 600 right now. Yeah. Oh my God. So the club I worked at, I made a story time. They had like other people who handled everything for us. So we didn't have to be involved oh, with like, any of the payments. Ours okay. was like really bougie. Fuck yeah. Really, really strict, like bodyguards. Yeah, ours was really strict with bodyguards. Really? Okay. Yeah, okay. in Vegas. Like if any yeah. guy was to fuck with a dancer, like they're like six foot six and they're yeah. like, yeeting their ass out. There's like bikini baristas where it's basically the same type mm-hmm. of thing. And I feel like people don't understand that. I definitely feel like there's a lot of misconception. Or People are always like, girls are doing this in the back room, they're doing this for money in the back room. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, the club I worked at, there was cameras in every single private booth, mm-hmm. there's cameras in every single back room. They cannot have any of that. The club can get shut down if girls get caught doing that. I'm like, still out of breath. They can lose their liquor license. And guys are only blowing money like that if they're drunk. So I never saw that happen at any of the clubs I worked at because they were like on top of it. Yeah, totally. there's a lot of misconceptions and judgment and stuff. Yeah, that's why I love it. just being super open about it now because mm-hmm. I never like told my channel or anything for a while because I just did it like super briefly but Mm -hmm. it's like why would I like not talk about it like it was part of my life and like Mm -hmm. I feel like everything's just becoming a lot more accepted the respect I have for strippers it's like insane like I can't even like fathom it they're such like powerful people watching like them work in like a Vegas strip club because Vegas is that's like the big leagues like there's Mm -hmm. nothing like bigger than like the Vegas strip clubs those girls they're insane like those are bad bitches I've literally no regrets (laughs) for I have no fucking regrets sorry that's That's gonna be our title dude that is only fans strippers yeah Yes. Yes. Demonetized yes. channel Done. deleted. No, that's genius. That's, that's a good title, so though. Genius. Cause Cause we're like talking so about it and stuff. Yes. I really want to do a video with you sometime, whether it's like my channel or yours, where mm-hmm. we just like talk more about like. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I don't know any other YouTubers where they like talk. I mean, anyone that I'm like friends with. Mm-hmm. You know, like I know there's like Christina. Vegas. Like, yeah. Like there's some other people who have channels based around mm-hmm. it. But like you're the only YouTube friend I have where yeah. like you also did, did that. It, yeah. I made some of the most like insane memories. And they're gonna say money. I'm like, that's no, you. Vegas money hit different. People who are going on bachelor. Dude, I can't even Vegas. imagine. Oh they're God. like, the guys, they're in there knowing they're about to blow money because they're like, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. It was like almost like stupid in there. Like if you didn't leave with $1,000, <laughs> then it's like a bad night. You're like, how the fuck did I not even leave with like $1,000? You're it, like pissed. You're, I would be pissed. So do you feel like that directly correlates over into OnlyFans for you? Oh, for sure. You have like the confidence for it. Like you understand yeah, doing your makeup, your hair, mentality. like the outfits, yeah. like how to carry yourself. I was like so awkward, I feel like before stripping, like not 
so awkward, but I definitely feel like it gave me some confidence of like, mm-hmm. you asked about like how I learned to twerk, honestly, when I was working at the club, because I didn't know how to yes. do pole stuff, so I would yes. get on the floor and yes. I was just like, you figure it out, you know? <laughs> you figure it out, they throw your ass out there. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah, yeah. And I feel like it's just in so many ways has made me like mature, grow up, like be able Gives to like- perspective. <clears throat> be able to like, yeah, perspective, be able to like handle yourself better. Wait, I can bleep this out, but what was your stripper name? Dylan. Oh my God, that's right, you told me, that's Dylan. cute. That's and cute. Dylan and Blondie were my two names. You can totally oh put God. it in. I don't know. Really? Shit, yeah. yeah, she's like, I'm retired. It's retired. Fine. I was Dylan. I was Dylan in Vegas. That's hot. It's like a guy name. I thought it was so fun. When I got hired that night, they were like, that's a dope name. Because girls are like fantasy or cherry or like stereotypical strip mm-hmm. club. And then my first club I worked at, the manager gave me my name. And I didn't even like it. It was Blondie. Blondie. I'm like, okay, can we get like a little more creative here? <laughs> what was yours? They said Madison for me. Madison! I'm I wanted done. something else. I wanted like Cara or Kara. Cara with a K. Cute. I really like K names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, oh no, someone already has a name similar uh, to that. So they're like, you're Madison. And I'm like, okay, like, that's like me. Madison's like, fine. It's just basic, kind of. No offense if you sure. have that name, but like, yeah. if you're gonna pick a dancer name, yeah, it's like, like girl what next kind door. Of did you wear? Did I like you showed it in the story time. I had my friend's like two piece rave bikini. Oh, it was like okay. literally what I would wear to a I mean, festival. Did you wear now. stripper heels or like just high heels? They were stripper heels. Yes. They were like as cool as yours, though. They weren't like boots or anything. Yeah. My club, you had to wear two bottoms. It was like a Victoria's Secret teal bra and like okay. matching bottoms. Yeah. I'm like, it wasn't even bad to me picture you in like a strip club. I've, I've been, been more dead. naked at raves, I feel like. Oh, than, really? Yeah. yeah, I've worn like pasties to raves. Did you, you do like back rooms and stuff? Yeah, I would get taken in the private rooms a lot, but they would just want to talk to me. They would just oh, be like, yes. I want to give you like advice for your career and business. And I'd be like, sure. Like, you guys love that. They want to be like, they love feeling dad. important. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> And just so stroke their ego a little bit. I, oh, for sure. And they like love being like, you remind me of my daughter. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like okay. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm like picturing like you gave lap dances and stuff. Oh, yeah. I would just get lit. And my friend and I would just like give each other lap dances. And guys would like freak out. That was like one of the big sayings at the strip club was like, it pays to be gay. Like it pays to be gay in the strip club. Like guys like eat that shit up. I just don't try to take life that seriously at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Life is just a joke to me. I'm just laughing. I'm just having fun, like yes, making yes. the most of it. Like it's hard not to like get drunk on the job. I didn't try not to. I I was like, hi. I, no, my husband loved, I was finding like the first guy in there to like buy me shots. Like I swear to God. Because then I wouldn't be nervous anymore. Yes. It's so much easier to like let loose and like have fun like that. To like an extent. I've seen like girls like doing like drugs. Yeah. yeah. That was not me. I was like just drinking. Yeah. A couple Some more songs. songs. Absolutely. Would you mind if I like peed outside the car? Yeah, right? totally. I love this right now because we're just talking so much. I feel like usually in Drive With Me is it's just like music, dancing, but... We're just having a whole ass chit chat. She's like peeing right there. I'm done. Oh, I know what song we're gonna play. This is what I did my strip tease to. 400k likes. Oh, 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 this song. Shit! Couple riders with them llamas that they pick up on me. Put my bitch up on design like my mama said. Couple prayers, keep them demons off me. Cause I know I'm out here blessed, they got so many reasons on me. Ready, no, nobody tried to ask about pieces off me. Fuckin' these hoes, it's not old news. It's like a bitch, she got me shopping up in Whole Foods. I'm sick and tired of all the yapping, little I'm your OG. My child is shining like the car that dropped on New Year's Eve. And she got down to the D, she be like, 543. Drop down, you a freak. Bend it over. Touch your feet. Yeah. Shake that booty. I know it's little, but you need. So you need to ask for the worst. Me and Ace at first preaching back to back. Hit boy and be so bitch, you gotta go berserk. Kill them off one by one, find no destination. Fuck that medication, I'm sipping cold flu echinacea. You done fucked up, I stayed up, sleep deprivation. Ain't on a search, nigga. Know your worth, nigga. Tell the DJ, bring it back, reimburse, nigga. Bring them back home more times than Maguire higher. I'm gonna go to a strip club now. And like money being thrown We have our me. strip club collab after this. Yes! It brings out like it. a different side of it me. It brings dude. out my like demon. <laughs> I got a good four, a lot of ass, don't need to have more, I know it's sweet, I like that. I got word that this wet well is drowned, toot it up, back it up, we get it fresh, you hit this word right when you come in town. Need you right here, know you the queen of giving ideas, know my new friends are bring the hype in, know you got problems but it's not fair. Fix your ass fucking shit up in a strip club, dude. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Just have like $51 bills everywhere. This ain't a Millie Rock. This a Millie 
hands and my dick ain't hard to fuck a nigga bitch cause he know that she a fan The molly, the white or his yellow like some sand Icy cotton through those hands, that's what made me all these bands 30 and a 40, all I think about drama I'm finna get this money, give it right to my mama Playing with the chicken, you will meet all the llamas I need money, I need weed, I need drugs Niggas knocking ain't a fiend and I'm straight These niggas telling stories but they don't be who we think Talking like he ain't a pussy but he lying in your face I've been bossing since a rookie Watching niggas from the back Smoking cookie out the pack and shooting niggas rocking black This ain't a milli where I do some money dance And my dick can't bands I'ma make a stripper dance And I'ma fuck a nigga bitch cause he know that she a fan You got money, you ain't fucking for nothing If my dick got then you better start sucking or something Pay your own rent, got your own shit yes. You don't need me Pussy is the best, that's why I think a hell of a yes. yes. And you ain't out here looking for love Cause you didn't have your heart broken out of love Your ex nigga, he was dumb as fuck As soon as I gave you the day My dad, it looks so good at the I'm waiting for the action Talk my pain with my wishes in a wishing well It's my own well I still try even though I know I'm gon' fail Stress on my shoulders like an airhead Fuck you got me itching like an airhead Just killing me softly like Like where, like with money falling, I feel yeah. really dope. I hope the angle my ass was good. You think it was good? Yeah, I just took the DNA test. Turns out I'm a hundred percent that bitch. Even when I'm crying crazy, yeah, I got boy problems. That's a human in me. Bling bling, and I saw them. That's the goddess in me. Cause I had a bad bitch, non-committal. Help you with your career, just a little. You supposed to hold me down, but you're holding me back, and that's the sound. I mean, I'm calling you back. I'm glad you're back with your bitch. I mean, who would wanna hide this? I will never, ever, 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 ever be your side chick. I put the sink in single and worry about a ring on my finger. So I just got this. This is a weed pen. It's dope. -do. I didn't know what it was. She yeah. was like, can I get a stizzy? And I was like, what the fuck is a stizzy? She's not smoking weed, that's nicotine. She's driving. I just wanted to I don't, like, I don't smoke weed, I don't like weed. Get a little lit. She was like hitting her puff bar. I was like, let me get like a little weed pen. When or you something. see someone doing it, you're like, I want one. I'm like, that looks yes, fun. Yes. I feel like I always get these and they always get lost or stolen. Yeah. So I usually like don't have a weed pen, but I just felt like buying one. I was like, you know what? This just sounds a, like a good idea right love now. Love a good hand to mouth thing, yes. dude. I swear to god I do. And then what is it? It's a hybrid. Yeah, it was the cutest little weed shop too. It's it was like, really cute. Because it's legal in California, you just have to be over 21. She's like, one of the bud tenders will be with you shortly. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. okay, like super bougie. Yeah, but I thought I lost do that Do you earlier. ever get like too high? I don't really smoke that much. Okay. And when I do, I don't really smoke that do you much like, either. Do you like edibles? I mean like, if I'm having body pain, but I don't like really just eat those normally to get high. I'm just like a California girl. Like I'll smoke it sometimes, you yeah. know what I mean? It's very typical like casual thing to do, I feel like in mm -hmm. LA. Or just California in general, when you're like over 21, you mm -hmm. know? Or even like people in high school would smoke. I didn't really smoke in high school though. I didn't really do anything in Did you drink. do anything in high school? Low-key, no. I was like a goody-goody. Dang! Like, I was gonna say I never did anything. I think like my senior year, I drank a few times and stuff. Ooh. Like on my birthday or something. But that was really the extent of it. I was like very innocent in high school. Like thought Love everything me. was so bad. Like yeah. I had a purity ring. Like No, you did not, bitch. I was a little good girl. <laughs> I'm done. When did you start like trying stuff? Or like experimenting? Um, I had a boyfriend and he was like a pothead. Okay. And he got me to try it a couple of times. But right. I didn't really like it until college. And I was like mm. over 21. And where did you go to college? I went to... Shasta College in Reading, and I transferred and I went oh, to Chico okay. State. You went to take out? I did. You're asking like a to... huge party school? You did know, because you... you went to Arizona, right? Hated it. <laughs> You're like, we don't talk about that. You're talking about ASU. No, I hated it. I went there for three months and my ass dipped. Oh my god. Thanks, mom and dad, for the tuition. <laughs> <laughs> no, hated it. Uh, uh, hell no. I'm not a college girl. No, I feel that. I got my degree in communication. Like, oh, you I finished do? it. Well, my associates. Oh, I dropped okay. out before getting my bachelor's. I had like a year right. left. So. Dang. Do you think you'd ever go back? If I had a reason to, I would, but yeah. I just don't see a reason to, especially with the pandemic and stuff. I'm just like, honestly, we yeah. have the most job security having an OnlyFans than anything else right now. Yeah, you know what I mean? for sure. Oh, I feel so blessed. <laughs> for real. I definitely started it. It was all because of you. Thank God. It was just a vibe. I felt called to DM you. She's the only person I was telling her that I've ever like reached out to them and been like, hey, have you, you ever thought about starting? Because yeah. I would see her content and I'm like, why does she not have one? You were like, you should. Girl, you can make some money. Yeah. <laughs> I figured that you had probably already been like hearing about it from other dancers and you would have done it. Honestly, every social media and girls would like post their statements and stuff of how much they're making. Yeah, yeah. girls be flexing. Okay. Girls be flexing. Woo! And I'm like, oh, is this true? Like, is this real? Like, can you really, like, fucking do this? Mm -hmm. Like, make this much? And then you were, like, explaining it to me. And I was like, okay, I'll just, like, full send. And then I full sent it. Fully sent. It was game over from there. Yeah. Now it's like everybody has one. It's, like, so crazy mm -hmm. to me. Guys are starting them. It makes sense. Like, I get it. I'm 
subscribed and I pay for probably like 20 girls mm -hmm. a month because I just like love it. Yeah. I just want to support people too. I want to support people. I don't even really look that much. I just like, it's there. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we're going to do a sale if you're we're down. We're doing sales, yes. When this video drops, I wanted to put it on a sale because yes. last time I did a sale, I got a bunch of people, but I don't do them very often. I'm going to do a sale. I don't know how much it'll be for, but it'll be up for like a limited time once the yeah. traffic goes up. So get it while you still yeah. can. Normally I don't do sales. Right. But you get a discount if you buy like bundle subscriptions, like three months, yeah, six months. Yes, yeah. yeah. No, I do that. And I'll do that with like my pay-per-view content. Mm -hmm. I'll like send out like bundle deals. Like Ooh. I'll do like discounts if you buy like three videos or more and stuff like that. That's cool. It's a business. It's yeah. for sure a business. Marketing. Business queen. Oh Did you ever get lip filler? I don't think so just because I'm scared of needles. But at the same time, I had my veneers done. So it's like, if I don't have to see it, it's like a mental thing. Okay. So like I have a lip tattoo right there. Oh, shut up. Yeah. And I got that because oh I had gosh. to see it. So I feel like yeah, with your yeah, lips, yeah. you don't actually see it happening. Right. So I probably could low key. But I also feel like I just don't really care that much. Like, I don't know if it would look like me if I got lip filler. No, I feel like you have a really like naturally beautiful face. It's more of like an enhancement. Thank That's you. how, yeah, and no, I feel like you've got a great face. I know it's really it's common in LA. Like, yeah, it's like, like everybody kind of gets it. Yeah. I feel like it's one of those things that once you start getting it to you, you have to like keep it up. Yeah, because then your body dissolves it in like five months. Yeah, just with like yeah. lashes too, or like acrylics or anything. Yeah. So I feel like if I was going to do that, it would be like kind of a commitment. Mm -hmm. Unless yeah, I, I just like, hated it. I just couldn't see myself doing it. Yeah. I think I would like do something else before I would do that. I want Botox. Yeah. The, like it's like the eyebrow lift Botox where like pulls your eyebrows up. You told me that you wanted to be like a plastic surgeon, right? No, or, like a esthetician nurse. Not no, not oh, aesthetics nurse. Not esthetician. <laughs> not esthetician. Aesthetics. But I looked into it. You got to go through like nursing school, like nursing programs, like all that stuff. And I'm just like, you got the wrong bitch. <laughs> you got the wrong bitch. For me personally, I'm just like could never go back to school. Yeah. And like dedicate like four years to my life. I would be skipping class to film YouTube videos. That's how yeah. you know. It's That's like, how you know, yeah. But I was dedicated to this. Maybe it's like my ADHD, but it's like I have to be genuinely interested in something yeah. or someone to yeah. like keep them around or keep doing whatever it for is. Sure. You know? It takes a lot for me to like I'll get bored. I get bored so easily. We're like dedicating like four years of my life. Hell no. Yeah, I dedicated like three. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay. Would you ever use like your communications degree in anything? I can't imagine for what. Like, I know, I'm like, what would you even use it for? <laughs> That's the thing, like, I don't even know. I feel like I would have a better chance of getting hired somewhere, telling them, hey, I have this many years of social media experience versus, like, an associate's yeah. degree. You know what I mean? No, I totally like, agree. I feel like we have real life experience doing mm -hmm. stuff. Like, yeah. I know how to market. Like, I understand yeah. how to do social media as, like, a business for and the sure. behind the scenes. I know how to edit. I know how to do, like, skills like that that I feel like would be put to more use versus, like, a college yeah. degree. Even if I had, like, a master's degree, I just feel like the skills I have are more useful for the mm -hmm. things that I would want to do yeah. and I know that I could get hired based off of those things Yeah, because I get asked to like I mean I don't know if you've experienced this but I know like a lot of my friends have like Olivia she worked for a Honda dealership for a while to like run their social media mm -hmm. I've had places like ask me to do that as a job a lot of people do that on the side and you guys don't even know or they edit for like bigger creators and stuff when I was first starting out of course you're like oh maybe but it's like no this is my career at this point plus OnlyFans yeah. like all that stuff it's just like this is what I'm doing I don't really see myself switching up anytime soon oh and like gosh. randomly deciding yeah. to become a doctor like if I ever did <laughs> Sure, I'd go back to school, but yeah, you know, that's a commitment. Oh, so bitch, I'm missing the fucking exit. You could probably get over if you really wanted to. Oh my god, dang! <laughs> Thank you. That's, that's what you gotta do in California, yeah. okay? Have you ever oh drove in San Francisco? Yeah, I fucking have. Right? That's where I worked in San Francisco, and you know those like yeah. huge ass hills. Yes, that's I why I drive don't up like that. San Francisco. It stresses me out. Panic attack. I can drive in LA traffic like it's no one's fucking business. It's different because the hills there. In San Francisco, the hills stresses me out so bad. Fake it, hit your bitch and massage Two to six out, winter time, dropping the top Give it to they pussy ass, turn this shit up a notch Gucci flip flop, fake it, hit your bitch and massage 
a massage. It's a big watch. Diamond dripping off of the clock. Bad, baby, got these bitches busting for cash. Now you wanna say what's up to me? Okay, so now you wanna make love to me? Girl, if you don't get the fuck from me, I know you thought we had something special. Do you like Black Bear? Which hot girl bummer? Fuck you and you and you. I hate your friends and they hate me too. Fuck my friends behind my shoulder. Next time I'ma stay asleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Uh, and you coming to get late, baby? Bitch, you crazy. And that's the time to get enough. I wrote a little song for ya. It go like oh, break me for so fucking time with you, girl. So fucking time with all the games you play. I ain't no dick at all. Say the X and O's on another no, I'm gold. So bitch, I'm party. This ain't gonna party. The bitch won't party with Cardi. Cardi a party in a ride with the bitch on money. Bitch you ain't gang, you lame. Bitch up laying the lane. Blood the brain. Fuck up a check in the brain. Credit to your name, you upset. Uh. Credit got rich, they upset. Credit put the pussy on offset. Credit and credit be brain on offset. Credit to your name, you upset. Uh. Credit got rich, they upset. Credit put the pussy on offset. Credit and credit be brain on offset. Who gets this motherfucker start? Who took your bitch at the party? Who that I'm picking the cut? What's in the truck? Is that intentional? Us, like, we're driving through a neighborhood. This is the song. Okay, so before we started this video, she was asking me if like I ever wanted to get a luxury car. Yeah, I was. And I was telling her there's this video on my OnlyFans where I'm like in a Lamborghini mm -hmm. and I'm just like lit. <laughs> it like low key yeah. turned me on. I'm like, yeah, oh, I get one of these cars. That's when I was like in the strip club, money getting thrown on me. I'm a different bitch. She got good throw, sit that cat on my lap, I give it good strokes I'ma have to fly out to Mykonos, so maybe to Japan so I promise if I could, I'd fuck her seven days a week Oh my god, yes, we go to the community We just charged it like really quick. So I hit my outro. forehead. I don't know if you can see a bump. We also took the money Got and we, money. you know, rolled it back up. Yes. I was telling her I will find like one dollar bills yes. in my car like months after I film a drive with me. I'm just like, what's this? Oh my god, Thanks. the twerking money. Yes, the twerking money. Thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up the video. Subscribe yes. to the YouTube. Subscribe to both of our OnlyFans. Linked below on sale mm -hmm. right now. Go check it out. Go check it out. Follow our Instagrams, TikToks, Twitters, all that stuff mm -hmm. will be linked below. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Later, Later alligators. alligators. Bye. These days they gotta find it